morning once again. This time I'm concerned about your physical health. And that connects very, very decidedly to our spiritual health, wouldn't you say? Yes, it does. In our last meetup, which was last Tuesday, uh, we had a discussion about digestion and how it is so important to the body. And we don't, we, you know, the way Western medicine seems to think about these things, it sees every system as something that's operating entirely by itself. And that is indeed so untrue. <laughs> everything is connected to everything else. And so a poor digestive system leads to malnutrition, obviously, right? GERD is also something else where we have acid reflux, constipation, irritable bowel syndrome, intolerance for other foods, stomach ulcers, gallstones, colon polyps that can become cancerous even, right? And chronic fatigue. Sometimes just a little touch of a digestive enzyme can be very helpful to avoid fatigue. If you're just not optimally digesting your food. Here's some other tips that might be also valuable. Drink sufficient water. And everybody knows already how much water they should be drinking every day? Remind, <laughs> Remind you? Okay. So it's your body weight. So let's just say you're 100 pounds. Well, I'll use myself, 180 pounds. And then 180 pounds divided by 2, that's 90. That tells me how many ounces of water I should be drinking each day. On an average, I drink pretty much consistently 80 ounces. I have a container that holds 40, and I do two of those per day. So I'm very close. Uh, hydration is really good for that. Uh, oh, what about mastication? How many times do we actually chew our food? <laughs> That is so important, all right? Approximately 30 to 40 times per mouthful. Yes, that's right, 30 to 40 times. Um, Fiber-rich foods, avoid, of course, processed foods. Oh, here's one. You know, many times we go to the fast food place and we get something through the window and we're sitting in our cars and we drive away and we are munching at the same time. Not good. We need to be relaxed. We need to be at peace and calm when we're eating our meal. That definitely helps our digestion. Stress of any kind. Um, and then avoid overeating. You know, the holidays are going to be coming up really soon, and it's going to be really easy for us to overeat. So please remember to listen to your body when you are, in fact, full to stop, right? Save it for another day. And one of the other things that will really be helpful is not to snack in between your meals. Your body needs rest. Your stomach needs rest. And so ideally, and we talked about this on Tuesday night, ideally two meals per day where you have about five to six hours between the two meals in the day, and then you have a span of maybe, I don't know, 15 to 18 hours with no food, just water and a few other beverages if you like. But that kind, all of those wonderful habits definitely help to promote digestion. Now, I'm going to end with just this idea because I want you to think about this. If your digestion is poor, it's not optimal, that's going to affect your sleep, your quality of sleep. And so just think about if your body is having to deal with food late at night, then your body is concentrating on food digestion as opposed to repair and rejuvenation. So you want to think a little bit about the time 
And so muscle repair occurs. And I was fascinated in doing this research, and it's very simple, and I'll end with this. One of the very first things to get repaired when we fall asleep at night, of all the systems in the body, take a guess. What is the first system that's likely to start in the repair process when we first fall asleep, the way God made us? The brain. The brain. That's correct. And it actually has a cleansing system in the brain. Everybody's familiar with the lymphatic system. Well, there's the glymphatic system in the brain that actually helps to clean stuff out and improve the functioning of the brain for the next day. So please, don't eat too late. Have a lot of space between your meals, and you will find that your mental sharpness will get much better, and your sleep will also be better. Next time, I'll finish up the other notes that I have. But I hope today that you will not only be healthy physically and emotionally, but to be healthy spiritually as well. May God bless you. Amen.